Hello again, I'm back with a new project share. Um, this was my design team project for um, Tracy Fox for November. So I'm a wee bit late. I um, I wasn't 100% sure this was going to work. I played with inks and things on this and some of it got quite dark and grungy and I thought I wasn't 100% sure I liked it. But after playing with it a little bit, I'm really happy how it turned out. I um, I made some traveller's notebooks ages ago. It's months ago now. Um, I made this one along with a tutorial on 49 Dragonflies channel. She did a, a sort of step-by-step -step she was doing and I sort of played along and made this. And I had really good fun doing something um, a little bit different. And at the time I made another one but hadn't decorated it. So when Tracy started bringing out all these lovely label kits and mini ephemera kits and all sorts of things like that, I thought they would be perfect for decorating the Traveller's Notebook cover I'd already made. So I used the Bug Book kit for the pages of it and various um, label kits. Because I had quite a few myself I'd bought before I became a design team member so I had loads to play with um so these are some of the kits I've used there are others um I'm not a hundred percent sure what they all are but these are the ones that I used um that I know I definitely used in here so um the bug book is the what I use for the pages and um, the science ones and um, all the earlier label kits as well. I have them all now just in one box. I um, I print them off on sticker paper um, and just have them in a box. So I just have to ink them as I use them. And they're just perfect for, I do a, I have a daily diary I use to keep track of my life because I have a memory like a sieve. And I use these to decorate my week. Um, I uh, I just love them and um, I keep sort of various different ones in tins. I think the Christmas one is one a wee tin somewhere as well. And um, yes, yeah, so they're always on hand and because they're on sticker paper, they're just so easy to use. Like for doing my, my daily diary, um, I don't need to get glue out and all that kind of thing. They're just there and I just stick them in. So it works really well. Um, so... So that's what I did with this one. And again, using the small pieces of ephemera that you build up into layers, saved some of the pages that I feel were maybe going to be too grungy. But because I was able to go back and do lots of layers um, over little bits, maybe I didn't like the way it worked out. It, it, I'm really happy with the way um, I was able to fix it and stuff. So I have it in my, this is my Traveller's Notebook cover that I use. This is... Um, I have my Etsy information usually in this cover to try and keep track of my, my business side of things, but I'm not very good at it. I'll maybe be better in the new year. Um, so it just, the colour and everything just fitted so nice. So I thought I would show it off in, in this. Um, I put the ties through the back instead of them having them through the middle and used a darker wax thread this time. And again, it matches perfectly. And I just put a little bit of silk as a closure. So I had a bow sticking out. I thought it looked really nice. So yeah, so it was the cover I'd made ages ago, like I say, and I used Tim Holtz paper um, for that. And there are some Tim Holtz butterflies through this, but pretty much everything else is a Tracy Fox kit. Um, I've used lots of little scraps of vintage lace and sari... Um, ribbon to decorate it and there's a few the, all the hardware bits and pieces are Tim Holtz as well so on the front we've got um a wee flip and there's a big tag in there this is this lovely new kit where it's it's got layers on it so I used the stickers to try and really emphasize the layers and then brought them around the back um and various layers did a little bit of uh, hand stitching on some of them as well and we've got a wee pocket on the front. I did a few ragged pockets to break up all the straight lines. And again, the stickers are good for that. 
Um, I like I don't like too many straight lines, so I like bringing things in to break that up. And this is the four tea cards as well um, in the black and white or sepia, and they're lovely. <clears throat> Uh, I've got a wee clip here because there's two little um, bits here. And I've got a little pocket there. And then a little card here. This is the just the basic layer, the way it comes. And I just love the texture and everything on that. So I just left that the way it is. Because this is lots of um, little tucks and, and flap envelopes. You can't put too much in each envelope or you end up with it being a little bit too bulky. So having cards like that that look like you've actually done quite a lot of work on them already, but you haven't because they're completely smooth. They work perfectly for this kind of project. So again, more layers. Another wee pocket in the front here with another card and just a couple of wee layers and some little snippets. So then we come into... The front cover has another wee envelope flip here and I've used again one of these cards as a little, um, I think I'm going to turn it into a booklet. If it doesn't if it doesn't seem too bulky, I thought I'd put a few pages in that. I've got another one at the back, so I thought they'd work out really nice as, as little booklets. And I kept the, the sari um, ribbon just so I can fold it over and again won't cause too much bulk. And another wee flip using one of the number cards and one of the big tags here again with the layers um, I love uh, oh, I, I, um, I love the colours I got here this is the inking I was playing with um, and it got quite dark in some places but it looks very rusty um, I think I used a distress ink and an oxide at the same time um, and I think that's how I got this mix of speckles and sort of um, the sort of pooling of it. I'm not sure they mixed together or something. I'm going to have to have another play and see exactly how I did it. Um, hopefully I can replicate it because I really like how it worked. I, and this butterfly, being the colour it is, just matched perfectly. Oh, I think I had that. Where did I have that? I'm not sure. I tore that a little bit. That I'll have to fix that tag because it ended up getting stuck to that big butterfly when I put it on. I like the, the way the wings are matched up there. So yes, yeah, so I used the bug book for the pages. I thought size-wise they were perfect. This is the size they print off um, as they come. And I thought if I did full pages because of the layers I'd put in in the various pockets, I think it would have been too bulky. But by putting in the smaller pages, I think it worked really well. And I just did various little flips through this as well and random labels. I use the tags that come with the kit. Um, Shabby Soul's recent book, she made tag pages with uh, fabric hinges and I thought it was a lovely idea. So I went through with all the tags in this one and just made them pages instead of making them into tags. And all of this that you see on the pages is me playing with ink. Um, they're not as heavily inked as that when you get the kit. I made them quite grungy. And again, more little flips here. I really like how this rusty colour came out. Another wee snippet here. So I've got this sort of pooling, which I really like. Again, I'm going to have to have a play and work out exactly if I can replicate it. Like this, I just love this effect. So that's the wee booklet part and the back is sort of the same as the front. I've got another wee card in here which I think I'll make into a booklet. Another wee flip with one of the number cards. And again, another big Tim Holtz butterfly here with one of the big tags in the back, which I've done various layers on as well. And some spodging. Um, so I take this clip off. On the back we have a flip that comes out like this. Um, and I've just put a wee fabric pocket here and I think these butterflies are big enough to use as journaling cards so I quite, I quite like that and this big bumblebee looks lovely coming through the, the envelope window so I just put that onto one of the this is one of the big tags from the <clears throat> tag collaboration kit with Artie Mays 
and I just cut it into the size I needed it for that window and it worked really well. And then one of the big jumbo tags at the back there as well with lots of wee snippets. I just sew them all together um, and just keep putting layers together till I like it and then I just put a few stitches through it and so you don't, it doesn't, I find if I use too much, if I do this kind of thing with glue you end up with a sort of lump um, depending how many layers you have so I quite like using stitches instead. Um, I like the finish better but you get the layers um, more obvious than putting a, a dot of glue in there. I realised this is my third time trying to do this video, keep making mistakes. I realised I've got an empty pocket there so I will make a wee something to go in there as well. Um, can't have an empty pocket. So yeah, so there we go. That's my little um, <clears throat> my little traveller's notebook which ended up um, working out far better than I thought it was going to. Um, so yes, that's that. I um, I have one more book to do, I think, for this year. I um, My craft room <clears throat> is also my son's room and he's home, so he hasn't been home for months because of everything that's been going on. And um, because he can go, for, as a student, he can go for a couple of tests. Once he passes the corona test as negative, he can travel and come home. So that's hopefully happening next week. So I have one more book to finish and then this my craft room is going to become his room. So I don't think I'm going to get much more done this year. I'll try and do stuff maybe on a tree on my lap in the evenings, but I'm not sure I'll get much done with the time of year it is now as well. Um, <clears throat> so I have probably one more video to go and that'll be me for this year. So I'm... Uh, very thankful that I had my little books to keep me occupied through this year with everything that's been going on. So a wee sneaky peek of what I'm working on. It's um, going to be quite a romantic um, one using uh, very sort of um, romantic colours, I suppose I'll say for now. Um, we'll see how that works out. I'm just having a play at the moment, but I'll hopefully have that done by the end of this week. And um, so it shouldn't be long before that one's up so 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 lots of so's um but this is the third time in this video um i've done this video so i'm not doing it again <laughs> um so thank you very much for watching um and i hope you like the flip through of this one so stay safe thank you Bye bye